Hi, and welcome to the fourth and final part of the 20 year history of MTV's Jackass. If you haven't watched parts 1 to 3 already, I suggest you do so first to catch up. Now, on to part 4. Despite most of the cast and crew of Jackass being preoccupied with other projects, rumours and speculation about the possibility of a fourth movie in the film franchise would continually persist for years amongst fans. Bam's alcoholism, which had been seen by many as a possible major stumbling block to the production of a fourth film, had also now seemingly been overcome, only adding to the notion of a potential fourth film. Furthermore, Bam himself also stoked hopes for a fourth Jackass movie when he teased that Jackass We're Not Done Yet was a likely title for a fourth entry in the film series. In 2019, Johnny Knoxville was asked about a possible Jackass 4 and told Entertainment Weekly, It's possible for sure. It's not like we're saying no. If we did do a new one, we'd have to bring in some new younger guys, just to bring some fresh blood into it. But it's possible. Knoxville then shared a photo of the Jackass crew gathered together in April 2019, sparking even more talk of a fourth movie, which was further compounded by the fact that the 20th anniversary of Jackass would soon be occurring in 2020. Steve-O highlighted this fact further, saying, We're approaching the 20th anniversary of when Jackass first appeared on MTV, and I do know that there's an urge, an idea to commemorate that anniversary in some way. Unbeknownst to fans, and even his fellow castmates however, Knoxville for nearly a decade had secretly been writing down new stunt ideas and concepts to be used as material in a potential fourth movie. And now feeling that the timing was finally right, Knoxville tasked his assistant with compiling all of his new stunt ideas together into one document, a document which eventually turned out to be almost 50 pages thick. 10 years of teasing, rumour and speculation would now finally come to a head when on Wednesday December 18th 2019, Paramount Pictures set a tentative release date for a fourth Jackass feature film, scheduled for March 2021. After 10 long years, the main cast would finally be reuniting for one last movie with production set to begin in March of 2020. Unfortunately however, after just one week of test shooting, production on Jackass 4 would cease due to the worsening health situation worldwide. This meant that production of the movie would be halted for nearly 9 months before filming could finally resume. Consequentially, the postponement of production would also result in the movie's release date being pushed back from March 2021 to October 2021. However, this delay would also result in bigger consequences for one cast member in particular. Bam. Before production began, Bam's involvement in the project was uncertain due to his highly publicised substance abuse issues. In light of this, Paramount Pictures were supposedly extremely reluctant to include Bam in the cast for the fourth movie, purportedly seeing him as a liability. However, Knoxville and Tremaine reportedly campaigned to the studio on his behalf for his full participation in the film. Bam's involvement would now allegedly be contingent on him signing a wellness agreement for the duration of the film's production, in which he agreed to follow a strict regimen of medication, therapy and drug tests, along with his participation in a 90-day rehab program. Bam would initially follow the terms of this wellness agreement, however, the movie's shooting delay, along with the stress, pressure and uncertainty of how long it would last, seemingly led Bam to relapse. During this relapse, Bam began posting numerous emotional Instagram videos alleging mistreatment at the hands of producers Knoxville, Tremaine and Jones, urging fans to boycott Jackass 4. I'm not in Jackass 4. If anybody cares about me, don't go see their movie because I will make mine way f***ing ratter. Margera's subsequent Instagram videos grew far more dark, disturbing and alarming as he was clearly suffering a mental breakdown being exacerbated by alcohol where he began alluding to having suicidal thoughts. Nikki found me on the interweb typing in how to tie a noose. During this period, there was supposedly much dialogue occurring behind the scenes between Bama producers concerning the violation of his wellness agreement. But with the exact details of these conversations and meetings being extremely murky as of the making of this video, I won't speculate further on them. In February 2021, TMZ reported that Margera had finally been fired from Jackass 4, although it is now known that Bam had been officially terminated months earlier in August of 2020 for failing to honour the sobriety conditions set out in his contract. 
The situation with Bam would deteriorate further as the termination resulted in Margera allegedly sending Jeff Tremaine multiple death threats through text message and also over social media, leading to Tremaine eventually filing a three-year restraining order against Bam in June 2021. In the restraining order, Tremaine stated that I am in great fear for my and my family's personal safety. Johnny Knoxville was also subjected to Bam's threatening behaviour and abuse online with Margera challenging him to sign a contract to fight both him and Jeff Tremaine. Of the situation with Bam, Knoxville would say in an interview with GQ, We want Bam to be happy and healthy, and get the help he needs. We tried to push that along, I think that's all I really want to say about it. I don't want to get into a public back and forth with Bam, I just want him to get better. The situation would continue to escalate further when on August 9th, 2021, Bam filed a lawsuit against Paramount Pictures, Johnny Knoxville, Jeff Tremaine and Spike Jones. In the lawsuit, Bam is seeking millions of dollars in damages and compensation, alleging that he was wrongfully terminated from Jackass 4 and that he was coerced into signing a wellness agreement. Bam is also suing for the supposed use of stunt ideas that he had developed for inclusion in the fourth film. As of the making of this video, this is where things now currently stand between all parties involved. Despite the increasingly complicated and still unfolding situation with Bam, the fourth film continued to move forward with principal photography in December of 2020 with Knoxville and Steve-O both being hospitalised soon after due to onset injuries sustained whilst performing a stunt. Fortunately, however, both would make a quick recovery and shooting finally concluded in June of 2021. Soon after the conclusion of filming, promotion of the new film kicked off, when on July 11th, the Discovery Channel aired Jackass Shark Week as part of its annual week-long programming block. This was then followed up on the 12th of July where Knoxville revealed on the Jimmy Kimmel show that the fourth movie in the franchise would officially be titled Jackass Forever. Oh! Knoxville had previously stated to GQ that this movie will be his final contribution to the Jackass franchise. The trailer for Jackass Forever debuted a week later and confirmed that the movie would indeed feature new cast members and would also confirm Bam's absence. Even though Margera's lawsuit included an injunction against the new film's release, Jackass Forever is now currently in post-production and is now slated for release in 2022. In spite of coming to an end at the height of its popularity on television, Jackass would leave behind an impressive legacy, and although it only aired for three short seasons, it would impact the television landscape for years to come. It was a show that on the surface looked like nothing more than a lurid reality TV show, when in actuality it was pioneering for its time and was filled with a plethora of inventive material and creative ideas. As covered in episode 1, we know that much of Jackass was inspired by Hunter S. Thompson through Knoxville, but also according to him, a lot of Jackass stunts were also inspired by cartoons such as The Looney Tunes, The Roadrunner and Tom and Jerry. Evil Knievel, another hero of Knoxville's, was also a massive influence on the look and feel of the show. To many contemporary critics, Jackass is now also seen to be a throwback in many ways to the slapstick comedy of the black and white silent film era made famous by Buster Keaton and Charlie Chaplin. The cast too were also far more than they appeared to be. Not just the crazed madmen the media portrayed them as, but talented comedians, actors and performers with real chemistry together. Knoxville would say, It was a special group of guys. We loved each other. Some people who tried to do what we did interpret it as macho or angry. They forget there was a real sweetness to Jackass. We gave each other hell, but we also cared about each other. I think people responded to that. Jackass spawned numerous spin-off shows, merchandise, clothing lines and video games. Jackass would even go on to play 68th on Entertainment Weekly's new TV classics list and is now seen as a significant part in 2000s American pop culture. So who knows what the future holds for the franchise going forward after Jackass Forever, but there's no question that Jackass has already earned its place in film and television history because even after 20 years of ups and downs, Jackass has continued on with its defiant creed that if you're gonna be dumb, you gotta be tough. Thanks for watching and if you found this topic as intriguing as I did, don't forget to drop a like and remember to subscribe for more intriguing content like this in the future.